Hello everyone, I'm Big Red One and I'm with Gamers Armada, and I'm here to give you our review of Dungeon Siege 3. If you've checked out the usual website for reviews on this game, you've probably gotten the impression that this game is just not worth your time or money. And I'm here to tell you that's just not the case. I'm not going to say it's a great game, but it is a good game, and I'll explain why. The first thing I want to talk about in this game is the environment, which is stellar, and the graphics are top-notch for any dungeon crawler that you'll ever play. And though the world is linear, it is varied enough to make it less noticeable, and you'll never feel like the area you're in is specifically created to get you from point A to point B. Each area feels as though it was polished and given enough love to make it seem realistically large and part of a bigger area, even if you can't see the entire area. There were certain points of the game that I found I was paying more attention to my surroundings than I was who or what I was fighting, which should tell you something. I really enjoyed this aspect of the game, and from the forest in the beginning of the game to the underground magical dwarven kingdom at the end, the world of Ebb will never cease to amaze you graphically. At least it shouldn't. Another solid point in this game is the loot. As with any dungeon crawler, loot should and will be the main driving force of the game, and there is a ton of it, though most of it won't be worth having, which really only makes sense. The good news is that you can sell all of that crappy equipment to buy better stuff, and the game is certainly not stingy, so you should have more than enough money to outfit all of your characters as best you can by the end of the game. Another nice point is that this game won't force you into making too many choices about your equipment. A lot of the differences between each piece are very stark due to the 12 or so attributes that each piece of equipment can affect. There are some pieces, however, which do have subtle differences. That drastically affect how you'll play the game, but these are few and far between, so you're really going to have to pay attention for them. Of course, as with most RPGs of this era, the equipment will alter your character's look, which is great. I always enjoy looking more and more badass as I go through a game, and this delivered on that. The combat in this game is more of a mixed bag for me, though, because it's good, but it's nothing spectacular. You won't be writing home to mom or your friends about how great it is. Each character has 9 abilities to use, 6 for offense and 3 for defense, and while there is enough ability to customize them, I found that ultimately I only used two or three skills throughout the course of the game because they just seemed to be more effective than the other skills that were available. And while the combat is frantic and fun, it isn't exactly earth shattering and doesn't really convey the feeling of power I've grown accustomed to in modern games. I will tell you that there is a ton of differences between the enemies you fight with enough boss and mini boss encounters spread around to make it interesting. I did find though that while I wasn't in love with the combat, I was glued to my seat while I was romping through each area killing monster after monster. Unfortunately, I do have some gripes about this game, as you may have imagined at the beginning of this review. The first issue I have is that the story is linear and forgettable. Obsidian tried to implement a story that made you care about why you were going from place to place, town to town, doing the odd jobs to get things accomplished, and then killing the main bad guy. But ultimately, as I'm doing this review right now, I cannot for the life of me remember what started the whole game. And this is a problem. For a game that's trying to implement a story to make it more respectable in the RPG world, this is a huge point of contention. At no time was I ever enthralled at any point like I was with Dragon Age or Mass Effect, and the world of Ebb certainly does not carry the literary weight of The Witcher. Sadly, there just was not enough substance for me to connect with my character or the world to want to return to it. Unless I'm going to get some pretty amazing loot, which I'm sure will be available when the new downloadable content packs are released. One of the last issues I'm going to bring up is the multiplayer, which is ambitious and sounds great, but really doesn't work like you want it to. I found this out the first time I had someone join my game, kill some monsters, pick up the loot, and then I watched them sell all my stuff to the first vendor they came across. Furious was not the word. In fact, I said a lot of words, all of them probably were in English, and I'm pretty sure I'm on some terrorist watch list now. Another issue is that if you're not using your character in the game, then you're not going online with what you built. You're taking control of whatever character they have in use with whatever skills they've given that character. Although, when you do level up, you will have the ability to customize it at that point, but again, it's really not your character and you're not going to be connected. I think this is a huge issue and I didn't want to use their character. I wanted to use mine, so I didn't spend a lot of time joining other people's games. I did it once and I was over. Now, usually, in my final thoughts, I would tell you whether you should buy this game, rent it, or forget it. 
but I really can't tell you to rent or borrow a game when it's on the PC. So I've decided to tell you to wait until this game goes on sale at your preferred digital distribution service and download it then. Perhaps you could even ask a family member or grandma or whatever to purchase the game for you for your birthday. But even then I wouldn't feel comfortable doing that because money is going to be wasted. I wouldn't spend more than $30 on this game, that's why I'm telling you to wait till it goes on sale and get it then. If you want to know more about the game, you can check out my full review at GamersArmada.com. You guys have a good day, let us know what you think.